Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine, and if you're new here today, thank you so much for joining me. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we are going to do a little shopping at the Round Top Texas Antique Fair and Market. So if you clicked on this video to learn more about it, I'm gonna try and give you all the details that we learned along the way. We went to the smallest, I'll tell you really quick, we went to the Winter Show, which is considered the smallest. There's three a year, and I'm so glad we did because we learned so much to be prepared for the two big shows that they have throughout the year. But I will include the tents, the booths, some big furniture, some small furniture, or small items, I should say, just so if you're curious what they have there, or if you just wanna sit back and look at some fun finds, you can do that too. And then we'll come back and I'll show you. I just only got a few items, but they're super cute. So let's get to it. Okay, hopefully this video will give you some decoration ideas and some design inspiration. They had so many beautiful things, but you could even DIY a lot of the items in this video. But just to give you some background, this little town of Round Top, Texas, twice a year, actually three times a year, hundreds of thousands of people come. Vendors come to sell their items and people come to shop. And I took a video of this cute little pillow because the population is truly 90. But a couple times a year, people come from all over. We met people from Paris and Europe, New York, Wisconsin, everywhere in between. They bring their furniture, authentic antiques, some brand new built furniture, and everything from great grandma's house. I mean, truly anything and everything you ever wanted to see. And people are just having a blast getting ideas and shopping. I'll slow down for a minute right here because this is a cute DIY idea. This gal had taken all of these jackets and sewn these cute little quilt patches to the back of them and then as the front pockets and they were selling like hotcakes. There's another one right there on the coffee table if you can kind of see that. But you could DIY this if you're a seamstress or have any sewing skills at all. And then I had her measure this table because I think it's so beautiful. I wanna go back and get it. Here's another DIY idea. You could stencil these little words on the top of some shelves that you find at the thrift store. I tried to video a little bit of everything just to give you an idea. But the first thing to tell you is this antique fair is held on an 11 mile highway in this charming little country highway. There's tent after barn after store of just pure shopping goodness. And depending on which end of the 11 miles you start at, we came from the Austin direction. And if you're starting at that end, then it's all of these cute little mom and pop shops. You can kind of see the backyard of one of their little stores right there. And things are priced really reasonable, really inexpensive. And as you continue along the 11 miles, they told us it gets more progressively expensive and bougie, which we did find that to be accurate. And you'll kind of see as this video progresses that things get a lot more expensive. You could DIY a ton of the items in these shelves. Those little ball canning jars, they've just painted and wrapped with rope and twine. And then these little plaques, they've stenciled with cute little cows and hung hooks. And then just a tip, if you find something that you like in one of the stores, 
take a picture of the outside of the store like this picture right here. Look at that cute little highway. That's the highway it's on. But take a picture to remind yourself where the item was. We actually missed out on a few items because we could not remember the store we originally saw them in. It becomes a little overwhelming with all these different shops. So definitely get a picture of the outside front. And here's a little DIY idea. She's got this little toolbox. You can find these at the thrift store all the time, but she's got all the wrapping paper for her store, but you could put all of your art supplies or craft supplies in there. All of these gorgeous light raw wood pieces, I was in heaven. And this lady had all of this beautiful fabric and green sack fabric and pillows. She brought everything from Europe and it was beautiful. And those chairs right there, those green sack chairs, I love. More of that beautiful light wood, that was everywhere. And can you even believe all of the furniture stacked side to side in this place? We could not figure out if someone purchased it, how he was going to get it out of those aisles, just wall to wall of beautiful furniture. And this really pretty light wood table. And this tent had a bunch of items that people could buy in mass quantity and take them back home to sell in their own boutique stores. I loved this dresser. It was a printer's table and all those thin long drawers were so unique. Cute little horse head and lots of furniture. And there was actually a restaurant right in the center of all of this shopping. What a great idea. And that chubby little horse. And you can see the items are starting to get a little bit more she-she. But there's some awesome things to come. And this place was about halfway. They had new and old, fun plates and bowls and risers and just unique items, little booth by booth that people were selling. And I'm trying to film the pricing on a lot of these items just in case you're curious. And then for shipping, if you're wondering, they had three separate shipping vendors. And in the beginning, we thought they were so expensive. But as we did a little bit of research, we realized that their pricing was spot on. We could not even rent a U-Haul or a truck with gasoline prices and trying to load it yourself and movers and all of that for the same price they were shipping. So if you go, the pricing is actually really reasonable. I won't tell it on here because it could change from show to show or year to year. And I don't want to give out false information. They give you a book of stamps, and then when you purchase something from a vendor, you place the stamp on it that says sold. You take a picture of yourself standing next to the piece and text it to them, and then they have their workers go out and pick up each of the pieces just day after day and store them until they're ready to ship them to you. And you can meet each of the shippers at the Big Red Barn, get your stickers at the beginning of the morning before you start shopping for the day or you can Google them, or even when you're shopping, each of the vendors knows the shipping companies and they can give you information as well. All those rolling pins in a wine rack holder is so cute. And these beautiful butter molds. I think those were a really good price. Now 
This also had a restaurant. There were lots of restaurants around. And then here's a great DIY. Look at these beautiful terracotta pots. I'm definitely doing this soon. I just loved all of these apothecary pieces. They had so many of them. And another printer's table, just so unique. I was in love with this green island. I'll show you the wood on the top in just a minute, but look at these beautiful, I'm not even sure what those are, but they're just rusty and gorgeous. And then look how weathered and beautiful the top of that island is. I loved this piece so much. I thought this was so pretty. And then all of these European linens. This guy was from Paris and you know I love those little grain sack fabrics. And he had another green dresser, so unique with those tiny drawers. And then this long family barn table and that amazing wood horse. And then I was trying to film the details of this table because you could build this. You just need to find that old weathered lumber, but someone could build this. I might even try it. And look how cute they decorated the top. all those old nails. Anyone could build this. And these unique shaped cloches I thought were so fun. Another couple DIY ideas. And then I was spying on this island. I was trying to also get an idea of how to build this one as well. And then tons of different style of Crocs. They used these Louis Vuitton suitcases as a coffee table, kind of cute. Those beautiful wooden beams, that would be my dream house right there. I loved this display. It had this very masculine side with all this beautiful furniture. And then right across the hallway, this really beautiful Parisian dainty side. And right there is my happy place, that blue, white, and wood. So gorgeous.
and they had jewelry. and clothes and cowboy boots. And then there's another style of one of those little quilt jackets I thought was so cute. And then coming to the end of all the shops, we got so many styling ideas and decoration ideas, like all of these beautiful bowls on just that weathered, weathered hutch. I thought that was so pretty. And all these fun crocs with these flowers and faux flowers and dried flowers so pretty. Another apothecary, I love that blue. And look at these cute pictures, that horse, that cow, and those birds. And then my favorite too for last, look how massive these pieces are. That pretty pale blue and all that chippy weathered goodness. And then this similar one with that light wood. And this thing was massive. You can see it's all one piece. I don't even know how you would load that up. So pretty. And that blue inside the shelves. Okay, as I mentioned, we definitely wanna go back in March now that we know a little bit more about the shipping options, maybe get some larger pieces. But what I'm gonna show you today is what I could fit in my luggage. So there's not much, but I got so many cute ones. I'll start out with this. This cute little riser. I love those chunky, chunky legs. And look how beautiful and dark and moody that is. And I normally don't go for this dark, but there was something about that that is so pretty to me. So I actually got three of these and you can use them for so many things. You all know you can put a plant on them or candles or in your bathroom or kitchen with your soaps and jars of Q-tips or whatever, but I love a good wood tray or riser that you can display things on. And I got three of these. I got this one. I gotta be careful with you guys on my lap. And then this white one, that's a little bit more shabby. And these were the small ones, and these were only $20 each. So I thought that was a great deal for those. Let's be careful with you guys, huh? And then I got just this little, I think it's a little butter pat. It's just tiny. And I kind of like that it's, you know, got some weathered staining on it. But this was only a dollar, so why not? I got that. And then these, I passed by these all the time. And then we walked into this cute little shop. And the gal there had them decorated so adorable. She had them sitting on a nightstand with all her cowboy hats on them. And so, look how cute. They're just these big thread spools. Um, and these are big, these are a good size. But I thought, what a cute idea. Because my daughter has so many cowboy hats that, and I like that they're kind of staggered. 
to put, and they don't have to be cowboy hats. I've got a ton of baseball caps that I wear all the time, but what a cute idea on your dresser. I loved that. But maybe you can tell me, this is the normal one, and then they only had a couple that had this on top. Does anybody know what that's for? Not that it matters, but I'm curious. I always like to educate myself on what the difference is. I got it because it makes it even taller and I like just the stackable sizes, but I'm curious what that might've been or what it was used for. These were only $6 each. I mean, come on, can you even believe that? $6, you can put hats on them. I think it's gonna be so cute. I'm in love with these. And then I got just a sugar mold. They had cheese molds, sugar molds, one or, you know, one space or two. I got, I think this was the biggest four. I'm not sure. They might've had a five, but I just got four and I'm going to use it for paint brushes. I thought that would be so fun to put all my art supplies in. Paint brushes, just really cute. And this was only $9. I mean, come on. $9, I thought that was a great deal. And then I got this beautiful croc. Look how cute. It's got the two blue stripes, which I love so much. And it's got all these flaws, which makes me love it even more. Just so cute. And it does have a lid and the lid was pretty, it was cracked and chipped. And so I packed it really well, but unfortunately it's over there and it did not make it very well. It's kind of broken into several pieces, which I kind of thought would happen even though I packed it really well. I'm just happy that everything else made it, but I only paid $10 for this which let me just tell you, they have so many vases and Crocs and some are good prices, some are really through the roof expensive. And so when I got this for $10, I was thrilled. I was so happy. And they had a huge one. It was a six gallon and it was light blue stripes. I've never seen light blue before. They were really chunky too. Two light blue stripes. I wanted it so bad. The guy was selling it for such a good deal, but it was so big, six gallons. I couldn't get it in my luggage. I couldn't get it as a carry-on. And so whoever got that, you are so, so blessed because it was so cute. So if any of you see the two light blue stripes, will you comment because I've never seen them and I'm hoping that there's more out there that I just haven't found yet. I would love to find one with the blue, light blue stripes. And then look how cute this one is. Look at all the stains on that. And just, you can kind of see that crazing on it. And it is just weathered and, oh, I love that so much. The more beat up, the better. And it did have something there. I'm not sure what it would have been. If any of you know, comment. But I love just the fact that it's kind of not there anymore. And it does have a really pretty stamp on the bottom. I love that, but here's the downside. Look at the little handle is gone and it's got cracks, but it's been repaired really well, or maybe they just didn't crack all the way through, but I still had to have this. I thought I can display it like this. And actually I like it when they're beat up. It just has a story to it, but this one, was $29 and he gave it to me for $20. $20 because of the handle missing. So you cannot beat that. What a good deal on that cutie. And then these last two items. Look how cute. The guy, I had to take this in my carry-on because it's a lot bigger than it might look. But the guy thought it was a bird cage. It could be used as a bird cage, I guess but this cute metal and it's heavy. You saw that one booth had a ton of these really interesting shaped ones. And then there was only one of this. So I really liked this one, but oh my gosh, it's heavy. Um, 
Look how pretty. If you can see the top. I'm almost surprised they let me on the plane with it because it's very pointy, but so beautiful. I can put this, oh, here's my third tray. This is the large size, but I thought I can put some plants underneath this or some wreaths or candles or whatever, but super cute. And it was originally $39 and they sold it to me for 25. I don't even know why, because there's the price. I didn't know what the price was, but for $25, such a good deal. And then it fits perfectly on this big riser. I don't dare lift it because I've got dogs in my lap, but fits perfectly. And this large riser was, let's see, the small were 20, medium were 22, so this was 24. So cute. So I can't wait to style that. And I've got a thrift flip video coming up. I'm gonna load that in a couple days with some fun things. So thank you so much for joining me and spending a little bit of your day with me. I truly do appreciate it. Please give me a big old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff because it sure does help my channel. And I hope the rest of your day is absolutely awesome. Bye-bye.